there are a couple differences about exomestane. It is a reversible, irreversible steroidal aromatase inhibitor. Letrozole and anastrozole are temporary inhibitors of the enzyme and they are non-steroidal. We thought when we first started studying exomestane that it had some protective effects on the bone. We thought it was much less likely to lead to loss of bone mineral density. We also thought that it might be more effective than letrozole or anastrozole, and it turns out that none of that's true. Basically, those are all comparable. The one thing to know is that in people on the other aromatase inhibitors, like letrozole and anastrozole, if their cancer progresses, approximately one in five people would have a benefit of exomestane. So there's some non-cross resistance there. And before we had all the other options that we have, that was a common strategy. 